Today we're doing a frozen yogurt coconut review and Vitaly, thank you for coming in to Featuring myself, Vitaly. And help me basically just understand if this new innovation is... There's nothing to understand. It's coconut ice cream testing. Yeah. It's the best work, easiest work I've done Mate, in a long time. It's just eating. Amazing ice cream. Mm. Don't eat it. Well, we're ready now. Come on, get back, get back, get out of the way. Mate, you tore my favorite page. Come, come, come. But we want to get up against this. Joking aside, you can really get a few extra gears by just eating the right kind of fuel. So when you get coconut, and then coconut frozen yogurt as well, and it's like vanilla flavor, nice branding, you actually want to buy it. And it tastes nice, because you know most vegan vegetarian food tastes like fucking plastic or cardboard. Yeah, or, or, or unripe, or, yeah. <laughs> or, or just starchy. Not gonna lie, eating healthy does not taste as nice. That's commercial shit. But Mate, yeah. I'm trying to be positive on this channel, but it's not so simple. It's all positive. It's the truth. Man. It's hard though. That's why we've got to support these companies which are making an effort to try and give options to people like you and me who are looking for alternative options and cures and tasty food that no one else knows about. If you want tasty food. Plus the ice cream. Look at this, people. This memory brings me back. Basically, we used to go blackberry picking so much in the summers when we were kids. We'd get loads of blackberries, vanilla, ice cream, and then together in the sun. And that memory of being together and eating ice cream was amazing. And I've not been able to do that since. But now I can. To be honest, when I realized frozen yogurt existed for like mainstream, I was so sad because actually it's not something I'd ever touch. But they made coconut milk frozen yogurt mm -hmm. with several different. If you look at the packaging, there's several different types of bacteria in it. You know when it's commercial, there won't be that many bacteria, but they're trying. They actually do that. Yes. Yeah, they fortified it with all these. It's a good make, definitely. That's why I was so impressed. I had to tell you to buy some for me to taste it. The amazing thing is the branding as well. I'm gonna sound like a complete fart. You should never buy something because of the packaging. But actually, it really represents what it is. Hey, the vanilla comes through for me. Yeah, it does. I mean, that's what I first thought, but I was like, why would they try and make vanilla flavor coconut ice cream? It's like, let's make coconut flavor ice cream. It's like the mainstream milk brands. Yeah, Hagen Das costs yeah, four quid. Yeah, more, it's five quid, 450. Really? It is quite expensive mm -hmm. for the big pot, mm -hmm. same size. I see a pack of them. You know, I'll be honest, when you can't eat something for so long, you almost become like, it really, yeah. it really gets at you. Yeah, and then for the past few days, I've, I've been craving prawns, like prawn in, in mayonnaise on toast. And I couldn't get the shit out of my head. I was like, like three days, and to a point where you can't work, you have this craving that's on your mind 24-7. Mate, you can't kill it until, until yeah. you eat it. Yeah. Because <laughs> usually when it's dairy-free, it's soya. And what guy wants to get woman tits? you know, on his chest, because that's what soya does to you, because it increases your oestrogen over, over a while, it does. Just like, just like normal milk, eventually. Really? Yeah. Milk comes from a cow. Yeah, but... It's young, it's <coughs> definitely got some kind of hormones in it. That's how I got, I got my shit, and it's definitely from milk. Where's the grapefruit juice? They don't use sugar, instead they use grapefruit concentrate, which is like a sugar alternative, but to be honest, it's just a different type of sugar that no one uses, but it still has the same effect. If I eat too yeah. much ice cream, my my arms inflame and I get like an autoimmune reaction like I do to normal plain sugar. How you tell me? Grapefruit concentrate, I think it is better than normal sugar because grapefruit concentrate at least has got some nutrients and stuff in it. No fiber as much to be honest, but you can't win in everything. Gotta live a little. To be honest, it's really sweet actually. It's about 18 grams sugar per 100 mils. But to be honest, with the blueberries, it's so, so necessary because blueberries, wherever you get them, very yeah. rarely are they sweet. The ones I get are quite sweet. Hot bowl. Finished. Hey, it's so nice. Yeah, I can eat a whole pack of this right now. Only four quid, coconut collaborative, give it a go. Any superstore, you should find it. Actually, mm. I got in Sainsbury's. Maybe they're just in Sainsbury's, yeah, but. Maybe. Soon, with your help, in the store around you. Do you know what I'd love to do? I haven't done it yet. Whipped cream is something every great sex scene has on film. And it's something I'm not be able to do yet because actually there's not been many lactose dairy free options out there. Next time I make. Another ice cream review, I've got to invite a girl and see what happens. Tell me, I thought I was your best mate. <laughs> we do get on well. Instead of a girl, it could be more romantic, mate. And then 
It was like a chill with ice cream off their spoons. Yeah, it is. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> I was terrified of my illness, but now I feel I'm getting it back on, on course. So, yes. Coconut ice cream for the win. Honestly, thanks for watching. Just do like, sub, but actually comment like, have you tried this or any other alternatives? And if you have tried other alternatives, what would you recommend? Post below. Thank you. <sighs> Get a burn!